retro design, a form of design which is inspired by objects and styles of the past. Retro design is quite popular. You can buy retro designed radios, retro designed clothes, and even retro designed fridges. However, this form of design has also been used in the automotive industry. Yes, some well-known retro designed cars are the 5th generation Mustang, the PT Cruiser, and the 5th generation Camaro. However, today I'm going to talk about some retro designed cars which were made by Nissan. In 1987, Nissan released a retro fashionable little city car called the BE-1. It didn't have any Nissan branding and was only sold in Japan. It was based on the first gen Micra and had a 1 litre inline 4 engine. Transmission wise, a 3 speed auto and a 5 speed manual were available. Other options, you could get an electronically operated canvas roof. The BE1 was available in 4 colours, pumpkin yellow, tomato red, hydrangea blue and onion white. 10 1000 BE1s were produced, buyers were picked by a Nissan organised lottery. The cars were built by contract manufacturers to Cogio. Production ended in 1988. The following year, in 1989, came the Nissan PAL. The PAL was based on the BE1 and was another retro fashionable city car. It had some cool retro old fashioned features such as external door handles, flap up windows and a split rear tailgate. It had the same Nissan Micro engine as the BE1 and again 3 speed auto or 5 speed manual were available. The canvas roof also made a return. Again there was 4 colours for the PAL, aqua grey, olive grey, ivory and terracotta. Production ended in 1991 and 51,657 were produced. In 1989, Nissan produced one of the weirdest looking cars I think I've ever seen, the S Cargo. The S Cargo was a van, so it was of a different platform to the other two. It was based on the Nissan Sunny. It had a 1.5 litre petrol 4 cylinder and an automatic 3 speed. Its name has two meanings, S Cargo means small cargo, but also sounds, also sounds like S Cargo, which is French for snail. Um, and the van does look quite a bit like a snail. It probably drives like one as well. 8 to 12,000 were produced by the time production ended in 1992. And yes, this is the van that Doug DeMero did own. I don't know if he still does, but at one point he owned one. The fourth and final Pike car is one which is more familiar, at least to the people who live in the UK. The Figaro. The Figaro was produced in 1991, just in 1991, and again based on the first gen Micra. However, this time its 1 litre engine was turbocharged, producing 75 horsepower, opposed to the previous car's uh, 51 horsepower. Opposed to the previous cars, the Figaro is a little more fancy. The speedometer and tachometer are chrome trimmed. Every knob in the car is chrome. It's got leather seats. It's got a CD player. That's a song. Some limited edition Figaro's also came with passenger side basket and cup holders. The Nissan Figaro is a convertible. However, the roof comes down, but the two um, side bits stay fixed. I'll put a picture on screen for a better explanation. Um, the Figaro was available in four colours. One for every season. Topaz Mist for Autumn, Emerald Green for Spring, Pale Aqua for Summer, and Lapis Grey for Winter. Again, you had to enter a lottery to get your hands on one. 20,073 Figaro's were produced. They are Nissan's Pike cars. In 2011, design critic Phil Patton said that the Pike cars were the height of postmodernism. They see the Pike cars as a bit different to other retro design cars though. They aren't cars which are designed to look a bit like old cars, like a modernised version. They are just new cars that look like old cars. Anyway, that does bring us to the end of the video. If you did enjoy, please do like and subscribe. It would make me happy. I don't know why I'm clapping. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.